he can ask the judge. Okay, welcome to the putting green. Okay, the the George Lowe putting process. Uh, we just jumped on pretty quick the other day and didn't have much to say about it. But guys, it's 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 good from everywhere. And you know, short distance, long distance. We've got here. We've got about 20. You know, got about 22 feet, 23 foot putt. Um, guys, it doesn't matter what the distance is. It, it's it's the process. I mean, it doesn't doesn't really matter. The advantage is with, with channel lock is that you're always going to be hitting to a side of the hole. That's the advantage of it. It's a pushing action, so we're always going to to basically start the ball. Well, you know that you're not going to get any drags with it. That's what I'm trying to say. So we're just going to, and there's a tractor in the background here, guys, might be killing us with the audio. See, it doesn't matter, it's just, it's just a very, very accurate process. Okay, now why is it, why is it beneficial? Why is it beneficial? Um, maybe I'll put the camera over here. Okay guys, um, why is it, why is it such a good system? Okay, in my opinion the, the main reason that people generally are inconsistent with the putting is because there's too much travel in the putting stroke and travel is, is that, it's too much, just too much travel in the putting stroke and as soon as you get the shaft of the putter or the head of the putter moving there, there's a propensity it can go in and out um, or open and close. But if you just had this putter and you put it in a clamp here and it didn't go anywhere, you couldn't move this end of it here, that, that head is always going to scribe the same path all the time because the fulcrum is contained. In a general putting stroke, that's our, our fulcrum there, the fulcrum moves all the time guys and, and it's moving the face around and all types of things. So, so with this process, what we're doing is we've got this in here, we've got the, the grip, and we're just locking the, we're locking the, the fulcrum. We're locking the fulcrum in place, here. See that fulcrum? It's not going anywhere. And the way that we get the energy into the golf club is that we just hinge the wrists. The hinge of the wrist is the power source or the energy source whereas a normal putting putting stroke it's the arm travel that gives you the the energy and the power in the stroke but in the George in the George low process we we, we we lock the pivot here here and we just do that and we go into out if, if you look at it from this angle here, it's just into out, into out, into out. So it's always an into out action where we're pushing the ball to the hole. We're not dragging it. We're pushing it all the time. So, so, so the action is always into out, into out, into out, into out, into out, into out. And if you can do that and get the putter going down a little bit, so you've got a little bit of down hit on the putt. You've got to be careful with the type of putter you're using and the type of loft you've got or the type of loft you don't have uh, on a putter if you're going to hit down on it. It's so important. But the fact that we, we, we just have this, what we call a, a fixed fulcrum here guys, I'll just, just show you here look, it's, it's basically, the, the energy is supplied by the, by, the, by the wrist hinge, see this hasn't gone anywhere. We haven't got any of that. 
and by just having the wrist hinge those two bones in the arm there stay in place the ulnar and the radius bone they stay in place but if we get travel in the thing they can rotate they can rotate over or they can rotate under but if they're fixed in position here and you've just got the hinge the wrist hinge moving off the off those uh, off that forearm you really can't get any distortion in the club face I mean you really can't so it's, it's back and the other thing guys of course is that it's channel lock channel lock channel lock it's back football position here and it's closed shoulders the way I can hit into out all the time is because the shoulders are closed the shoulders are closed I can hit into out because the shoulders are closed I can't hit into out I can't hit into out if the uh, the shoulders are open or if the shoulder the lead shoulder is cocked down we're going to have the lead shoulder up and it's got to be and the shoulder's got to be closed and, and essentially this is the action I mean, I mean essentially it's just it's just it's just a it's just a straight contained hinge action now look at that guys if I turn around see how square the blade is because it's doing that it's not doing that and it's not doing that it's doing that it's doing what it does if it was fixed in a fulcrum if it was fixed in a uh, if it was fixed in a in a vice or somewhere you see that there that's going exactly through exactly the same all the time and that's the advantage of of this George Lowe system but it's also you know channel lock back foot ball position if you're if you're right right handed person the trail eye is usually the dominant eye so we've got the ball under the dominant eye so we're having a lot better opportunity of targeting that, that's that's a major plus the ball is under the trail eye which is the dominant eye for most people yeah and we've got the shoulders closed look here I'll putt one to the, to the camera look where my, my shoulder is guys and watch where the, where the putter goes and look at the blade look see how the blade is there yeah <laughs> it's wristy and it's hingy nothing wrong with that why would why would be we be adverse to to doing to using a, a, a wristy hingy type action if we can putt with the accuracy that the system gives guys it takes all the variables out that's the good thing about it when, if we eliminate travel here, if we eliminate travel and we eliminate the potential for the body to move. Now, when we're in here, guys, the body's locked in. The body's not going anywhere. It's just here, it's on that vertical trail axis and it's buttressed, it's not going anywhere. But you can move, you know, you can really can move when you've got your feet apart and the ball up here and you're doing that. You can move, I can feel mass wanting to move. But here, guys, the mass is not going anywhere, look. And the putter's not going anywhere. And my forearm's not going anywhere. Everything is contained and corralled. I've eliminated lateral travel in the putter. All we've got is the head moving backwards and forwards. It's moving laterally. Clearly, it's going that way on a slight arc. But it's not moving its, its, um, its fulcrum point fulcrum point here we move we move that fulcrum point back and we move it forward and if you look at any putter guys the, 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 the putter will move backwards and forwards and rotate it doesn't do that with this process it just doesn't do that and of course the grip is as we said it's in the pincers the forefinger and the thumb you put that there and the forefinger and the thumb of the lead hands there and then you get your other components of your hand on any way you like. But the main thing is that we've got the ability to to have that feel in the pincers, the pincer portion, like the, the tips of the fingers, because that's where we have the feel, and that's what we want to do. And that's that's where we get the feedback. And we also get we also get the um, basically what I call the whole feel. You know, when you do that, when you even when you stand here and you do that, 
I mean, you get a really good hole feel for where the hole is. If I was going to throw the ball there, when I've got my fingers like that, not so much when they're like that, but when they're there, I feel like I can just, I can do that. So remember that the, 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 the grip is in the pincer, in the tips of the fingers, in the forefinger and the thumb, in both hands. It's there. And we just lock the fulcrum in here and we do that. Guys, I, I had a had a putting session here over the weekend where I I hit about 250 putts to uh, on the other putting green to three different holes and from from different areas and the the and I didn't get used to the break. I kept changing around and the distance and that type of thing. And guys, the the, the concentration of balls was like six inches around the hole. So many went in. <laughs> Probably had, you know, 50, 60, or 70 went in the hole. Just amazing. Well, probably 60. But, and they were all from decent distances. They were no gimmies. But, but the ones that didn't go, it's just, it's just this congregation. So the next part you've got is a kick in. It's just a, it's a brush in. Okay, so that's the George Lowe putting process. We, we fix the fulcrum, we don't move the fulcrum, we have the pincer effect with the hands, we have a closed shoulders, do it this way, we have closed shoulders, we have a back ball position, trail foot, and, and, and we just have that. And look at that blade guys, look how straight that blade is, look, that's extraordinary. There's no roll on that. That's, that's just, that is really almost a mechanical clamp type effect. So that's the George Lowe process in conjunction with channel lock. Back foot here, trail vertical axis, that's where we are here. We don't move guys. <laughs> Over here, there's a chance that all this here can move, but here I promise you, you don't move, you don't go anywhere. Here it is. The trail vertical axis is stable. Okay guys, that's the, that's the George Lowe wizard channel lock, George Lowe wizard type grip. Now he didn't promote that. But he told someone that I know that, that knew him and he showed it to him. And he said, and people didn't even pick it up a lot of the time when I was putting against them for money, so they didn't see what I was doing with the grip. But he said, that's where I had the feel. But when he was just showing people generally, he just put the thumbs down the top, here like that. But he still had the pressure of the, of the uh, forefinger in there. What could be simpler, what could be more mechanical, and what could be more geometrically perfect. Okay guys, that's it. I'll do more on it as, uh, as time goes on, but that's the basic essence of the George Lowe uh, pincer uh, finger grip. And, and again guys, going back to the reason that George said you should use those is because they give you more feedback than any other component of the body. If we reach into our pocket for a coin, what do we reach in with? We reach in with those fingers. We put a key in a lock. They're those digits. So that's the that's the tactile feedback mechanism that we want. Okay guys, it's gonna get really noisy here. So that's the George Lowe channel lock putting process.